Hello there, everyone. Yep, no fancy music for this intro today. Um, this is, as you can probably tell, uh, my <laughs> intro art. Uh, well, not my art, the game's art, but my intro um, picture. The picture I use for my intros for Hard Reset. Now, why am I recording another Hard Reset video? Well, um, the patch that I was kind of sporadically talking about during my playthrough has dropped. Um, as of a couple of weeks ago, I think. And amongst other things, the biggest change is that the final map has been fleshed out a bit, which is quite literally the same wording I use in the actual <laughs> playthrough itself, as you'll soon hear. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that recorded. I had some people requesting it, so I figured why the hell not. Put a nice little uh, cherry on top of that playthrough. And this will likely be the last Ashes video that I do until whenever episode three drops, whenever that will be, probably in the next, I would say, two or three years. So just want to go ahead and get this recorded for you all. Just a nice little quick uh, little side project, little cherry on top, like I said, and I hope you all enjoy it. And until next time, um, I will see you guys on my next project, which will probably be Aftershock. Ion Fury Aftershock, that is, but that's not a guarantee. I'll say it's about 95% certain or sure. Uh, which is the exact same wording that I use at the end of the actual playthrough video. <laughs> so, anyway, here is the updated final map, map 14, hard reset, on Apocalypse difficulty. Enjoy. Well, welcome everyone. Gee, this looks a little bit familiar, huh? Well, what is the reason for this video, you might be asking? Well, Ash's hard reset has since come out with a patch. This is the currently... Uh, or this is the current newest build, version 1.00a. It even says so up here without the A part. But, the biggest change is that this map, the final map, map 14, has been fleshed out a bit. It's a little bit longer, it's a little bit more interesting, and so I figured, hey, I had some people requesting it, why don't we go ahead and play through it right now? Hello, Mr. General. All right, sounds good to me. Also, let me just make sure my sound is uh, where it usually is. Yeah, okay, 0 .05. Perfect. So now instead of... Uh, there we go. Instead of the general going down just when you cross a line to F here, he goes down when you get into the elevator with Mr. Gargoyle, who, by the way, actually talks now. So, let us get things a-going. And yes, this is still on Apocalypse difficulty. Yeah, 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 I hear you. But, well, let's go ahead and play through this map again. Oh, why don't we? Go ahead and get our flashlight. Our handy-dandy flashlight out. But, well, most of the map is still relatively the same. Including this bucket here. Yeah. But, there are a few very noticeable differences if you played the original version, like I obviously have. And I shall show you what those differences are right now. So we got the yellow key. Let us go this way through the yellow key door. Go ahead and get some more stuff. And I want all the items, so gimme. All three of them. And the computer terminals all say the same thing. I'm not really going to read through those again. There's no real point. We'll just keep going. Down, down, down to the bottom of the spire. Or at least close to the bottom. We do go from level 2 to level, what, 25? That is quite the long way down. Make sure all my stuff is reloaded. Looks like it is. Alright, and as usual, I believe there is nothing this way, just some snacks, a computer terminal, and nothing. So the red key that we need is actually this way. Right in this room here. So we take the red key, and we head right back upstairs. This door is going to be the one that opens now. And here is where the differences 
start. Go through the red key door, and this already looks a bit different. This definitely looks different. What is this? Decontamination process started, and already over. Look at that. And not only that, but, um, oops. We have a new voice. Check this out. Welcome to, to, to White Watch. You are entering a restricted area. That, ladies and germs, is Athena. Now, we don't actually directly talk with Athena in this uh, episode, but that is what her voice sounds like, and I can only assume it'll be the same voice actress when episode 3 comes around. Anywho, this area is still handled the same way. This door still does not open. Slight spoiler. We have to reset the pumps. However, look at this. This room is now completely uninhabited. Hmm. That's definitely the biggest difference so far. Go ahead and smack that button. And then activate the pumps. And get out some sort of explosive weapon because you're going to want to use it. Because you can probably barely see it from here. Let's see if I can actually... Uh, you can't really zoom in that far. But the, those Aegis turrets have decided to rear their ugly mechanical heads. Four of them. And for some reason, they're still not tagged as kills. I don't know why, but they're not. So just go ahead and deal with them and get out of here. Now, are we already done? Hmm. Let's decontaminate ourselves again and find out what's going on over here. Uh, see ya. I'm not sure who you are, but you scare me. Hi. Mr. Tentacle Spirit Man. Are you the same spirit from Afterglow? The one that says, I see you? And I think that might be Robin. Mr. Walker's wife. Hmm. Well, still haven't seen any enemies, but oh, don't you worry. That's about to be over right now. Looky here. The haunts have moved out. Look, I got a rifle with all the bullets in the world, so... Come get some. I think this is actually where we have to go, so we're going to go this way instead because there's one more haunt. Just a floating about. Oops, excuse me. Eat my hollow points. Yeah. All right. And, hmm. This place certainly seems familiar. Yeah, this is the very door where that spirit says, I see you in Afterglow. The same posters. So in a weird way, we're coming full circle, even though this is a prequel, so technically this is the start of the circle, not the end of it. <laughs> but anyway, once we deal with those floating bastards, we can now go this way. And oh, look at that, the final item it is yet another first aid kit. And well, if you go through this hallway, it leads you to this room that, as far as I know, you can't actually enter. This glass is unbreakable. I don't know if that switch does anything, and you can't get those painkillers. I mean, you can't even you can't access the vent, not that it matters, because the vent doesn't even take you to that office. But anyway, we have now reached the end of the map, where we have to take on the hammer. Not sure what that door noise was. Now, I will say I did trigger a glitch my first time playing this map. And I have yet to be able to reproduce it, but let's see if it reproduces itself here. It did not. Okay, so my first time playing this map, when I came back out here, you know, to face off with the hammer, I think it was this elevator door. It moved all the way out to, like, here and completely blocked my path. I thought that maybe I I didn't do something or whatever, but no, it's, it's just a glitch. I have, n I have not been able to reproduce it, like I said. And I have no idea what I did to make it happen in the first place. But, uh, yeah, something to just keep an eye on for future patches. Anyway, 
It's hammer time, bitches. And you already know what that means. We're going to put on the brute and the region. Oh, and look, the hammer now starts in a different location. Yeah, and his, uh, his fire attack still really, oh god, really hurts. Let's see if I can get him around this other bus. But yeah, that's pretty much the only uh, parts of the map that are actually different. Like I said, they didn't change too much. They didn't really want to. Let me actually go the other way with my weapons here. I am thinking way too much. I should just be firing at them. How about some grenades, kind sir? You want some pineapples? Some hot potatoes? Well, I got your hot potato. I got your hot potato. <laughs> right here. Oh, the grenade floated a little bit. I can usually make the guy just kind of circle around this bus. Just watch out for that fire attack. My goodness. The bouncing fireballs don't last for very long, so just don't get stuck on something when you're trying to straight past them, and you should be okay. Oh, I don't know why those got fired there, but okay, sure. He's trying to change things up on me. I see how it is. Oh, I got him with the last grenade. Check it out. And, uh, yeah. That, that's that. That is the up, the uh, updated slash upgraded version of Hard Reset. The final map of Hard Reset. And, yeah, everything after this is exactly the same. The ending is the same. The credits are the same. The majority of the map is the same. It's like the only differences is after the red, between the red key door and the final boss fight. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had some people requesting to show this newest most updated version of the map off it may receive further updates in the future i don't know um but it sounds like with the exception of some minor you know bug fixes and stuff oh the 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 bort secret in map eight also now works the one with the atlanta falcons uh, visage on it literally all you have to do is open the poster up like a door so that's how you get that secret but as i was saying uh, it sounds like now aside from you know some minor bug fixes and stuff like that it sounds like Hard Reset is pretty much done for real. Um, there is another patch in the works for two particular glitches, one involving Doc Murphy and Map 6. And then there is actually a new glitch in the green line. I forgot to mention this. Um, the area with the terminal where you have to raise the bridge when you're down in like the sewer area. For some reason, the option to raise the bridge does not work, or it just doesn't even appear. Um, apparently one thing in the map got changed and that completely broke the dialogue for the terminal. So what you have to do is you have to go into your console, type in give space dialogue token three. That's D I A L O G T O K E N three, all one word, even though that's not a real word. And then that will make the option appear and work as normal. So that that's being patched as well. But other than those two things, and whatever you know, issues might spring up in the future, it sounds like Hard Reset is pretty much done for real, like I said. So, uh, if Vostiok is not still working on his uh, Sexy Goblins DLC for Head on Blood Right, which may already be out, I don't know. I don't think it is. Which I did actually recently play that, by the way. I have, uh, I've been playing through Head On for the past like couple of weeks. Finally freaking got to it. Um, Relentless Frontier is out, so I need to try that. And also, as of today, I don't know if it's been uh, released on ModDB yet, but the first part of the final episode of the Alien Armageddon mod slash total conversion for Duke Nukem 3D also released. So I am super psyched for all of those. Um, but in the midst of me playing all that, I just wanted to go ahead and get this updated version of Hard Reset, the map, not the game. Well, I guess technically it's both. I want to go ahead and get this video showcased so you can see the differences in the map. I don't think anyone has showed it off yet, so if I'm the first, I am the first. Yay. And I'm still deciding on what I want my next project to be. It might be Aftershock, um, but of course I would play through it again to get re-familiar, uh, re-familiarized, if that's a word, with it. And then from then on, I'm, I, I still don't know for sure. I have some ideas floating about, some newer, some older. But we'll see. Um, for now, this was just a quick little, uh, quick little addendum I wanted to go ahead and get done. So yeah, that was the updated map 14 of Hard Reset, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. That's about it. 
I will see you guys later with uh, what project? Probably Aftershock, more than likely. Not a guarantee. I'll say it's like 95% certain it'll be Aftershock, but we'll see. Only time will tell. Anyway, that's about it. I'll see you guys.